Hi, this is Rick Cogley, and uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, fills and gradients, as well as default line uh, settings in Draw.io. So let's get started by dragging a shape onto the canvas. And you probably know that you can use the connector, the automatic yellow uh, connector, to clone a um, uh, to clone a shape like this and the default line is uh, a black thin line uh, but for instance if you want to make the line as a default like I just did you can make some settings on the line for instance let's change to a different type of line like a slightly curved line uh, let's change the color of the line to for instance a green color like this. Whoops. Let's change. Um, let's change that back. I meant to change the color of the line. There we go. So we change the color of the line like this. And uh, for instance, let's say we add an arrow. Okay. So now you have this line. And if I were to drag the uh, connect arrow. I get the original line, the red line that I had before, because this has been set to default. So if I want this green uh, line with an arrowhead to be set to the default, I just have to select it, right click, set as default edge, like this. So now if I do this again, dragging down, you see that uh, the default is indeed coming out as the green uh, line of that particular line type. So it's easy enough to do those settings and that's uh, quite uh, quite useful I think. So uh, the second thing I wanted to tell you about is uh, how to use fills and gradients. Um, this is pretty uh, intuitive I think but there's one thing that uh, isn't and that is how do you get two color gradients. But first let's start from the uh, crawling before we walk. So for instance we set a um, an aqua color for the fill on this one. And let's say we set a gradient here with the gradient tool. And we use a different color like this magenta like that. But what if we want um, both actually? What if we want it to fade from not a white to the uh, to the magenta color like this, but rather, let's say we want it to fade from uh, blue to magenta. So we start by filling with the aqua, and we do a gradient here. And notice that this is not talking about uh, actually uh, the fade colors. It's a different thing altogether. It's the um, uh, basically the I guess the saturation of the, of the uh, color. It's really color centric, so that's that doesn't have anything to do with the the gradient. So don't make the mistake I did and keep fiddling with this and wonder why it doesn't work. Um, but you see, you get this rather odd combination of colors. But this can be useful if you're uh, trying to indicate multiple things. So, for instance, if you have a system diagram, you're indicating. Uh, let's say network devices with this color and servers with this color, but you've got a certain device that's actually both. Well, you could use this technique to indicate that it's both. So uh, today uh, we talked about setting the default uh, connector uh, or edge type, as they call it in Draw.io, by making settings on the line, right-clicking and setting or selecting uh, set as default edge, as well as setting either fills, gradients, or a combination thereof, which gives you a nice two color gradient fill. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you again.